it takes a certain type of person to get down in the trenches with you and look at it like, you know, I'm in this together or I'm going to support, I'm going to help you build versus like not enough, more and more, you know, step it up. You're not earning enough. You're not producing enough. Women are seeing their men not producing. And um, when they see that, they get upset because they know it's a reflection of that. I definitely think the woman should be, be the peace, not the headache. You know, they say the world's a mirror. So if there's something out there that's tricking us inside, best to look inward. What is that? What is that that's, um, what is that that's, that's bugging us? What is that that's, that's eating at us? Welcome to the In Search of More podcast. I am your host, Ellie Nash. Join me weekly on my quest for more. More from myself and more from this world. We'll see you on the other side. Ellie Nash. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay. What's going on? We're here. Remember, we did an episode. I think it was one of the, at the time, it was one of the more listened to. We did it audio. Um, it was called Your Wife is as Beautiful as You Make Her Feel. Yeah. That one. Yep. So the concept then, it came from a, a conversation I was having with more than one guy about just feeling like their wife was not looking the way they wanted and they were pushing their wife. And my point was, uh, you got to make her feel beautiful, and then she'll be beautiful. Mm. If Agreed. she feels that way, then. And I think I gave an example there that there was a time when, you know, when I was dealing with more of my addicted addiction stuff, and I kind of put my um, sex drive, but more than that, the creative drive, all that, into a box and said, do not touch, flammable, danger. Right. Right. Uh, right. When I was dealing with that, I, I noticed it showing up in different ways with my wife, and one of the ways it expressed was in wearing all black. And I think that was in that episode that we spoke about that. And I think that one of the reasons, I don't know if we said this, but one of the reasons men take it so personally, if their women aren't looking up to par, is that they kind of know it's their fault. Hmm. Because if the man is making her feel, feel beautiful, she's going to feel beautiful. Right. So then when he sees her or not, he knows it's a failing on my part. Like if I was doing my job well, she'd be shining. There's right. a man out there who can, who'd be with this woman and she'd be turning heads. And the only reason she's not is because. She's with you. She's exactly. Not you literally, but yeah. Yeah, with that. So, meaning there's the reason the guy is upset at the woman, at his wife, mm -hmm. like annoyed by not looking the way he wants is because. There's some blame that he holds, some responsibility mm. that he has for that, maybe even more than some. And what's on the flip side of that? So the flip side of that is what a lot of women rag on men for, and it's not producing the way they want. Mm. So oftentimes, and I hear this way too many times, the guy's doing well, guy's doing well, you know, and I'm, I'm in the business world and I see guys doing well, growing, you know, from a, from a company standpoint, from a business standpoint they're progressing and they're mm. earning and they're growing at rapid rates and at home they're getting the shit beat out of them by their um, by their woman comparing them to some other person or right you know and you can always compare there's only one guy who's the richest at any given time right but right. the amount of people i know you know the visually i see it as they're a tree being like a, a, a tree growing, mm -hmm. and as it's growing, they're sh destroying it because it's not growing fast enough by what is that some about, standards. You think? So I think the other side of that is women are seeing their men not producing, and um, when they see that, they get upset because they know it's a reflection of them. So be you think it's... It's personal first, you know, and the then Rebbe maybe who, societal. No, what I'm saying is, is that there is a woman out there, right, who this guy can be with. If a woman is looking at a man and saying he's not providing to my standards, and honestly, that's different to from people, and don't think it's about the money. I know people who are making, you know, eighty, hundred thousand dollars a year, and their wives are billing them up, and I know people who are making several million dollars a year and their wives are tearing them down. Mm. So it's not, 
it's not just about um it's not just about money it's not just about the dollar amount right it's it's more of an attitude i think there's so when a woman is looking at their man and seeing him in that way it's bothering them that the guy is not producing because they know that they hold some responsibility for that because there's a woman out there who this guy can be with who'd be built up and doing better than mm -hmm. he's doing right now meaning there's the rebbe says uh, who i've spoken about a few times with you that the financial blessings come into a home through the woman and i wonder if is that some sort of mystical like on it is it some mystical idea that we can't understand or is it practical in some way no i would say it's practical for sure um just thinking about like the nature of women and how um their uh ultimate function is to create right um and i think that goes way past the physical um i've known you know i've, I've known guys that's that's been in relationships and it's like super toxic and the woman is just no one's innocent but the woman is just <laughs> not being a good person and then they get out of that relationship into a better relationship and immediately like abundance the guy the guy right yeah i, I got one friend in particular like he was with a, with a girl for a while um uh she wanted to have kids that something happened there kids didn't happen relationship got really rocky um he got out of it and then immediately his next girl who became his fiance and his wife two kids house second house and just up from there so i definitely think women's ha women have the power to create and 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 from that a lot of blessings can come from just that ability um but but i would i, I wonder going back to your original point like them you saying like women kind of knowing they have that responsibility i wonder how much meaning it's that... a reflection of them that's what I means responsibility their mm. man's success is somehow a reflection of the mm. woman just like the woman's beauty is somehow a reflection of the man like when a wo woman is walking down the street and she's, I'm, I'm not talking about hot. I'm talking right. about like that radiance. Right, right. When, when, a, when a woman has that radiance, you know that there's a guy taking care of her well. Right. And emotionally. Other ways as well. Sexually, I'm sure. Right, all right. of that. that For sure. Someone breathing life into this woman, and now there she is walking down the street, radiating. And when there's a guy who's doing well financially, mm. same thing. Same thing. I Let's think, not talk about okay, how come how, how can a, a single woman be beautiful and how could a a single man um, be uh, be wealthy. Mm -hmm. Let's not talk about that. I, I have explanations, but it's let's just say let's just say this one uh, point on it mm -hmm. is that let's say a wealthy guy who's with a woman who's not doing that, you're gonna suck that out of him, and a beautiful woman who's with a um, man who's not giving that, it's going to suck it out of her. And we've all seen that. We've all seen the people right. who are beautiful get married don't. We all see the people who are wealthy. And we don't have to go too far. I talk right, right. from personal experience. I'm not... Right, right. Personal experience. I started working in 2006. Got married in 2017. Mm -hmm. My most difficult years in business, 2016, 2017. 100%, mm. 100% connected to the pressure that I was feeling from the relationship. 100%. And now things are better, thank God, and 100% connecting it to the way she builds me up, the way, you know, you're going out of the world, you're fighting. Right. You're fighting for your spot. Right, right. Where's that place that you recharge? If you don't have that place to recharge, you don't have that energy to go back and fight. Like, you're okay over here, you don't have to fight. If you're out there in the world fighting people, mm -hmm. and then you come back home and you're fighting someone again, how come it's not coming faster? How come you're not doing this? Right. It doesn't work. Yeah, no, I definitely think the woman should be be the peace, not the headache in a lot of ways. Um, I wonder, just listening to that, uh, is it worth kind of looking for those signs or the absence of that ability to, to build and create before you get into a serious relationship? Meaning like, okay, she checks all the boxes. She's hot, she's whatever, all the superficial stuff and some of the deeper stuff. Is it worth, um, and can you detect it going into a relationship or is it people evolve, things change? A year versus 18 years is a huge difference um, in a marriage, meaning let's say like your relationship, for example, you were already a few years into the relationship and then the suck started to happen. 
right? right. So what changed? Like, so no, what changed? The relationship got serious. Till mm. then, we were on and off, on and off, on and off. When the relationship got serious, there was a pressure. Some of it was self-imposed, right. but she wasn't doing much to help. <laughs> there was a pressure that was, you know, and I'm not, I'm not God for putting her down because no, today I'm giving all. her. To, today I'm, I'm giving her props for it. Listen, this is in search of more. Like we're yeah, not, yeah. we're not sugarcoating. Like shit is real. Right. I could speak to my relationship and say the same thing. Like there's a huge difference in my marriage now than it was a few years ago. And that's in a lot of ways when we got begin to take each other more serious. And now I right. see things differently. Like our frequencies are more in tune. And I see things manifesting on the other side of that. That's never in a million years before. No way it's happening. Like, right. Like you say, you go out and fighting into the world. At one point, it's like, who are you fighting? Who's going to be there in the battle? Are you sure you're going to fight? Are you going to do the something world? else? I'm saying, using your analogy. Right? There's a point in my relationship where it's like questions around everything. Right. And that would like, I'd leave the house and that would kind of set the tone for the day. And a lot of the times it was, it was a negative tone. 100%. And we got in tune and then, yeah, stuff started to shift. And yeah, so we're not talking from a place of like, you know, no, it's not even me blaming because some yeah. of the shift happened with me. Some of the shift, there was a pressure that I was taking on for, mm -hmm. but some the shift that happened with me, some of that was saying like, "Hey, easy on some of this pressure." Right, right. But in a lot of ways, she was building me up. There were some ways that I was taking on a lot of pressure, and today I don't feel that feel that at all. Right, I don't feel that at all. I don't feel that that uh, weight, but I see it everywhere, man. Mm -hmm. I see it so much, so much where guys are like. So what's beat the advice down, there? Beat down. So for the for the wife or the significant other and the guy. So so that that's why I fra I framed it in the way I did. Mm -hmm. Is so when a woman is with a guy and he's not producing the way she wants him to, instead of blaming him, which I understand why, because it's, a, it's almost a failing on her part. Right. It's like, okay, what can I do differently? There's someone that she can be that he can be with that can be building that up. He has to have a place. A guy has to have a place to come back to get recharged when he faces the world. And that's not the same as getting a pass. That would be too much on the other side. And that's not building someone up. So now you're going to see a lazy guy do, not doing much. That's going to be a reflection of the woman also letting too much go. Does, can, but there's uh, this ragging sometimes that right. that that uh, I know guys, guys deal with. I can see it. I can see it sometimes. Guys, I'm thinking this guy who reaches out to me every once in a while. And the way it manifests with him is he's doing like work he absolutely does not want to do, absolutely does not want to do. Um, and he's he's not a guy who's focused on money. He's not a guy who cares that much about it. It's not where he wants his his um, his main focus. Like seems to me to be someone who'd be much more creative, much more in those kind of things. And sure, you can earn money on it, but it's not the right. it's not the financial focus first. And his wife wants a certain lifestyle and pushes him into it over and over and over again, produce, and he feels miserable and he's he he's not producing at the level she wants, even though he does is he okay. Producing? Like, yeah, yeah. Even though well, he does okay, I'm not. I'm talking to a guy making over six figures. I'm not talking mm -hmm. about you know someone coming home with you know right. not being able to pay the, the 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 rent check. No, we're talking about ragging on him for um, inability to pay for luxuries. And then with this relationship, is it? Is it um, is it a lot of comparison happening there? Tons, tons. But there's there's a ragging on him and many others. I'm giving one example. Many right, others right. that just does not seem uh, to end. Oh, your friend has, you know, a housekeeper every day of the week. How come we only have it twice a week? And even if it's not said in that way, right. it's like there's, you know, when when I when I go back to six seven years ago. Um, with my wife, she never she never said anything that I can say like, "Hey, that was what was putting pressure." There was a subtle energy that just felt to me like pressure. It felt to me like if I if certain things weren't sustained, it was like things were actually doing were were doing okay. I was going through a difficult period, but it wasn't um, it, it wasn't to the point where bills weren't being paid. I was right. going through a difficult period in business. Right. So on that side of it, I had a lot of stress, but there was this pressure that I was getting that if I can't sustain um, a certain lifestyle, there'll be um, a disappointment that's right. like really high, not a sense of, okay, we're in this together, we're riding this together. 
and I trust you. I trust you to, to, to do those things. A lot of it, you know, let's say for, for you, right, is figuring out, you're one of those guys who, if you're not focused on stuff you're passionate about, you're going to burn out fast. Mm -hmm. And your wife, no doubt, although I haven't had conversations with like both of you, no doubt would need to be supportive of that. Right, 100%. That pursuit of figuring out how your creativity is matched with business and trust that you're going to figure it out and be that guy versus every day coming home and it's like, right. what did you do today? How's that going to make any money? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right. Um, and it's not even said, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's the shit that's not said that's, yeah. that has the, the most weight. But uh, it makes me think um, the women that are doing the ragging, are these women broken or healed? For sure unhealed. What's the question? Meaning like it takes, it, it takes a certain type of person to get down in the trenches with you and look at it like, you know, I'm in this together or I'm going to support, I'm going to help you build versus like not enough, more and more, you know, step it up. You're not earning enough. You're not producing enough. Um, and like you said, it's a reflection of, of, of the woman. So I wonder if, um, if it's almost always a woman that's unhealed, meaning like, is it ultimately tied to something else that they have to figure out versus coming into a relationship? Well, like, this is me, this is you. Right. I want to be clear that any, any one of those can fix it. Right. So for mm -hmm. example, what I'm saying with, with the beautiful one, and that's why I'm contra contrasting them is because a man is more likely to be bothered by the physical appearance of his wife than a wife is to be bothered by the physical appearance. Well, a wife may be bothered by lack of cleanliness or stuff right. like that or sloppiness because that reflects her in some way as well. Like, come on. Right, right, right. I'm take, shoot my house like this. I don't want you right. going out disheveled here and stuff like right, that. Right. doesn't look good. I think that's it's normal, but that beauty aspect of it, mm. I think the reason I'm contrasting it is because that's a guy's responsibility. Like fill her up with whatever it is, love, confidence, adoration, um, worship, and then she will feel that. And that's what she'll be, she'll be rating. And when she's not, take it on yourself. Now, if that's not being done, the woman can interrupt the process also by saying, hey, I'm not getting my needs met. This is not working. It doesn't mean that the, she, she's helpless until he, right. he starts coming around. I'm saying that instead of going outward and blaming it on someone else, I'm saying like this, there are women I can be with that I would not be in the same financial place I am today. Thank God right now I'm in a good financial place. There are women I can be with that I would not be in that place because they would... Be a and vacuum. I, what? There'd be a vacuum. There'd be nowhere to recharge. Right. There'd nowhere to... Mm. I think it takes a certain belief and trust. It's the both. I believe in this person. So if you believe in somebody, you're not going to let them on the couch either. So I'm not, right. when I say let them, you're not going to be cool. They're not right, going right. to feel like, come on, I believe in you. How are you not doing more? You have this potential. But then as they start going through that and figuring out what that is, it's like, I trust you. Like, I trust you. I trust the path that you're on and you're taking us and that you're going to find a way to provide um, what we need. And come back here and, you know, some of those days that mm. don't feel like you're there yet, I'm going to recharge you. Versus... I know guys who, at work, they're getting that um, sense of accomplishment more than at home. So it's kind of the reverse, where at work, they're like, oh, you just got a promotion, you just got a raise, you just closed right. a big deal. They come back home, they tell their wife about it, and it's like, that's it? Right. We still can't get that car? And like I said, it's not even said. It's just this feeling of disappointment, mm. this feeling of if it, does, if it doesn't continue, I'm not going to, to be here in some way. And I'm saying when a woman is seeing a man, that's a, she's seeing her husband, not providing the way she wants, take that responsibility on yourself because there's another woman he can be with who'd be doing a much better job and he'd be doing a better job providing. Yeah. Amen. And you're blocking your blessings in a lot of ways as a woman, right? Because the, the car that you want, for example, Right. If you if you support and you believe and you you trust and you're going to get what you want anyway, which is kind of ironic. Right. Like you're kind of stopping yourself in a lot of ways. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I can get behind that. 
Build, don't destroy. What? Build, don't destroy. Yeah, I see. You know how much this I see. <laughs> so much. I get frustrated sometimes. I'm like, I see it when I'm talking to guys. Mm. I'm like, this isn't you. This isn't you disappointed. It's like, yeah, I'm not doing enough. I'm making enough. And they're talking to me. And I see, like, this is not your pressure. You're not putting this pressure on yourself. All right. No, I was like, how are you doing compared to last year? I remember speaking to the guy. Yeah, probably like 40, 50% more. All right. So I'm like, okay. Yeah, but my wife is still this. Like, I know, like, you can see it. You can mm. see it. Versus 40, 50% more. Okay, so can't we do math? 40, 50%. Do the next year. Do the next year. Right. Those kind of growth. And before you know it, you're where you want to be. But instead, let's take the tree. It's not big enough. Stamp it out. Mm. So, you know, they say the world's a mirror, right? Mm -hmm. So if there's something out there that's triggering us inside, best to look inward. What is that? What is that that's, um, what is that that's, that's bugging us? What is that that's, that's eating at us. Yeah, I could definitely get behind that. Um, so to the women viewers, just um, pay attention, right? Pay attention. Take responsibility. Take responsibility. Take responsibility. Just like you want, we want the men to take responsibility for the women's beauty. We want the women to take responsibility for the men's financial status. The fact that it's each bugging us is because we know, we know a deep level. We're right. responsible in some way. We each can do something meaningful about that. Mm. It takes a, a certain level of, of selflessness too, I think. Go ahead. No, just to, like to kind of remove yourself from, from that situation and, and look at it objectively. Like, okay, um, it's not about only my needs and my want, right? But it's also my responsibility to, to pour into this person and to, to add to this, this situation versus taking away. So. Yeah, it comes back to looking in that mirror. Ultimately, yeah, you're responsible. No matter what it is, ultimately, there's always going to be some amount of responsibility on you. Right. I feel like this is, um, like there are a few other podcasts we did that kind of feed into this idea. We spoke about one, the value of triggers. Mm -hmm. Like learning how to listen to triggers. It's like, yeah, we're triggered by right. that other, we're triggered by our wife not looking as beautiful as we want. Good. Now don't blame the trigger. Right. Look inward. Like, why is that trigger there? For good reason. Because if you were treating her properly, mm. and there's a guy, there's a guy who would. Right. You there's, know there's a guy. There's who a guy would. who would. Right. Right. There's a there's a guy who would love nothing more than to make her feel beautiful. Right. It's like that saying, "One man's trash, another man's treasure." Yeah. And there's a there's a woman who would love nothing more than to have the opportunity to build up this guy. At a see. 40, 50 percent clip every year for well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. And 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 see what could be, what could be um, created, and they say it, you know. Who is it? Um, I saw a clip, Patrick, but David, he said, you know, they say behind every, behind every good man is an even better woman, something like that. And behind every broken man, there's someone breaking him, someone breaking him down. I don't know if those are the exact words he used, but there's definitely something to that. We can tar start um, taking responsibility for some of what's, what's, uh, what's bugging us. Yeah, I can get behind that for sure. Yeah, so instead of ragging on the women, instead of women ragging on their men for not provided, start ragging on yourself for not giving him a solid place to recharge and then face the world again tomorrow. But knowing he can come home, he's got he's got someone there who's who's a true partner, a true player. Yeah.